I'm Ashley Hodge with Port Media here today in the Monks Garden in West Newbury with Pam to talk a little bit about the impact this garden has on the local community. So Pam, tell us a little bit about your involvement with this Monks Garden. Uh, so basically Nourishing the North Shore started here about a year ago. Um, this is our main production garden. We distribute all of this produce out to uh, Newburyport and the surrounding communities and our mission essentially is to make sure that there's fresh healthy produce on every person's plate. Um, we think it is crucial as a public health measure to make sure that nutrition is number one in terms of preventing chronic disease. So we're starting at square one. Um, we're having a wonderful time. As you can see, we're kind of in full bloom here um, in the middle of July and we've got a lot of great produce to come and a lot that's already gone out. This is Kaylee. Kaylee, what's your role with the Monks Garden? I am the program coordinator for Nourishing the North Shore and I also maintain the garden and do most of the harvesting produce um, distribution. All throughout high school and college I worked on local farms and kind of saw a divide in the community between those who could afford local produce and those who couldn't and also seeing the excess that is created on farms. So how do you choose which vegetables to grow here? So at the Monk's Garden we're growing a lot of things that are out of reach for the people we work with. So like heirloom tomatoes or herbs or super fresh lettuce aren't things that you're actually going to be getting at a food pantry. We'll grow things that we won't get as donations from other farms. What is one piece of advice that you'd have for someone that wanted to start their own garden in their backyard? The second year you will know so much more than the first year. So just try anything, try what you like to eat. Um, next year you'll have 300 more ideas than you did the first year. And the most important thing is the soil. So make sure your soil is happy and your plants will be happy. What's a good beginner crop? You could try squash or tomatoes, herbs, but really it's what you like to eat. 